Welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of reviews into medieval equipment that's currently for sale. You'll find lots of DIY videos into costuming and furniture. You'll find lots of analysis of medieval events, who were the key people and why did events take place the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might like to consider subscribing. And in this video we're going to make a Viking style or Dark Age war banner. Righty, so we have this uh, piece of fabric here. I've had it lying around for a few weeks and I thought, uh, let's get some use out of it. So I'm going to make a semi-circular uh, Dark Ages type Viking style war banner. I say Viking style, of course this kind of thing was not limited to the Vikings. In fact, there's one in the Bayou Tapestry, if we look closely enough. And um, the way that I'm doing this is I'm just marking out uh, my measurements. In my case, I'm going to use 90 centimeters as the diameter. And then what I'm doing is just drawing in my semicircle. Alrighty, so there we go, there's my semicircle. Let's get some cutting going on. First thing you should do ideally when you buy fabric, raw off the bolt from a fabric store. In Australia we tend to use Lincraft or Spotlight and what we should do really is wash the fabric and allow it to dry on the washing line or the, to air dry. And the reason that we do this is it helps to ensure that the fabrics have been sealed properly and it pre-shrinks the fabric that way there's no disasters. When we go to our reenactment event and uh, Sometimes you see people with, with fabric like, you know, dripping all over their legs and stuff because they're using um, fabric that hasn't been sealed properly. There we go. Alrighty, so now let's get some sewing done. Now put our red trim around the outside, now what I'm doing is to putting in the trim that's going to hold the flag onto the poles. It's a very warm day here in Brisbane, Australia. I'm sorry, I'm sweating a little bit. There we go. Unfortunately, can't help that. Even though I'm only using a coarse linen as my fabric, I'm still finding it's actually incredibly thick in parts where I'm doing this uh, because of the layers of the flag and also the red trim and now So now we've got our flag, or our, our war banner, basically finished in terms of the original structure. So it's like so. Now what I could do is put some detail onto it.
Alrighty, now we now have our war banner. Now what we need is a flagpole to put it on. Alrighty, so for the purposes of this particular project, I've got two pieces of Tasmanian oak dowel I purchased from my hardware store, in my case, uh, um, called Bunnings. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a clove hitch knot to secure these two in place. So for those of you who are not familiar with the clove hitch, I'm using a sisal type twine or a natural fiber twine, I suggest. That's kind of what you do. Um, and what we do is we so wrap that over. I'm not sure how well you can see this. So once and then twice and then underneath the bottom end. Radio. Now we have a clove hitch. All right. Now I'm going to finish this with what's called a square lashing. Radio. So what we're going to go is we're going to go across the horizontal spar, across the now vertical spar, and then behind the um, horizontal spar. Keep that fairly tight. I would suggest um, if, you, if you're going to use this for any length of time then it may be applicable to use some white glue to hold it in place. All right, that we're going to go for a second pass exactly the same as before and a third time. So it depends I guess a bit on what you're doing um, as to how you want these tied off. Um, I like to basically, like I've got a bit of surplus string here so I can afford to um, go around a few more times and that's just going to increase the strength of it. Now what I'm just going to do is tie off. Uh, alrighty guys, there we go. All finished, all done. It's coming out looking really good. I really like the uh, the contrast with the yellow and the red. Um, that's going to stand out really well. It's probably a lot better than paint in my experience. Um, and it's going to survive, I think, um, a lot of camping activities. Although most of the time this is simply going to be used in my studio. Uh, but and So you'll be seeing a lot more of it. Alrighty guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget this week's competition. All you need to be is a Facebook follower and subscriber on YouTube to Medieval Mayhem uh, and leave a photo in the appropriate thread below. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing lots and lots of people's uh, armour and that kind of stuff. It's going to be really cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the community responds. Um, and there we go. So really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.